So I recently had a, another DMT experience, and this was like a few days ago. Um, it, it was like probably around a month, maybe more, since I've had a DMT trip. And this is purely just because I haven't had the time. I've just been like super busy getting ready for like a university audition for like piano and stuff. But uh, I'm sharing the video or the actual image in the beginning of the video just because. Uh, I want to just get that out of the way so I can talk about it immediately. Um, I'll pretty much start with the dose. Um, the dose was anywhere from 40 to 60 milligrams. Um, I put it in a bong and just, uh, I didn't even put ash under the bottom just because it was like a bit uh, clumpier. So uh, there was a little bit of ash, but uh, it was fine. It, it smoked, um, you know, perfect and didn't fall through or anything like that. And uh, this time I didn't really have much anxiety. Um, I remember the experience lasted longer than it usually does. And uh, I, f I feel like visually it was more intricate and uh, was giving off more visuals just because I left it alone for a little bit longer. Because usually I would smoke it like, like once a week or maybe twice a week or something like that. Or I mean, uh, once every two weeks. Uh, but right now, I just don't really have the time and, and stuff like that. I've, I've had a really bus busy schedule. Um, anyways, uh, w once I smoked it, I blew it out the window in my uh, bedroom and, and just laid down in, in silent darkness. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it, it lasted longer. But let me actually get into the visuals itself. Um, they were very complex and... Um, I got the impression that I was looking at uh, geometry, um, like stars specifically, like, you know, um, the actual cutout of a star. I was seeing something like that, but it also had a, a jack-in-the-box aesthetic, so it was kind of like stars mixed with sacred geometry and like weird childlike toys that were kind of circus-like, and uh, I would... I would see that the direction of change um, was coming towards me, so things further away would they would end up being, you know, uh, I would see like little crevices and, and things like that, and then the crevices would all of a sudden turn into entities moving. But other than that, like the visuals were pretty much very similar to what I was seeing before, and this lasted for a long time, and it was really uh, complex and, and like really aesthetic and like. I, I drew the little sketch right after I came out of the, the trip, so I was still tripping, so uh, I wasn't really at a good angle to really draw anything um, detailed, but uh, I just got down the basic idea of what I was seeing, and then I'm just going to elaborate on that with like a art piece or something like that. But uh, yeah, like it was, I was seeing entities that would basically be become. Uh, at first I would see just crevices and like weird tunnel things, but then these crevices would turn into actual entities and they would like move. So it was, it was really interesting. Um, I mentioned this to a guy on Shermery Red Green Vine, and he also, he likes to talk about what's going on in the trips and like what people are seeing visually and like what's going on in the brain, I guess you would say. And uh, he would say that he, he said that like, certain imagery and, and contents in your imagination sort of come into play with the visuals but uh i was thinking like you know what is subjective imagery and what's like a, a universal thing that we all see like uh checkers it's i was saying it's it's hard to distinguish the two and that would be a goal of mine would be to try to figure that out or sort of map that out but uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, it was nice to have another experience. It's been a while. Um, it, this was mainly just for like art reasons. I wanted to make a new art piece and I needed some inspiration. So I think I got it. Like I think I'm gonna work with what I experienced and try to make something um, better than what I've made before. So I'll see you guys later and hopefully it'll be good.